Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the uh, front lawn of the American Legion. Uh, today is a momentous day for the city of Revere. Uh, we have a, a USPS uh, stamp dedication uh, that is being presented to uh, both Revere on the Move and uh, the Board of Health. And uh, before I turn it over, I want to acknowledge the local officials that we have with us today, uh, state and local officials. Uh, First, we have uh, State Representative and Counselor at Large, uh, Jessica Giannino. We, all, we have uh, State Representative Jeff Cherko. We're also joined by uh, Ward 1 City Councilor Joanne McKenna. Uh, I, I'll be brief, but I, I just want to uh, thank the uh, United States Postal Service for their uh, recognition of the work that we've done uh, and more specifically, the work that the Board of Health and Revere on the Move have done, uh, in particular through uh, through COVID, uh, to be recognized uh, and to have these folks recognized uh, is really special, and I know that they certainly appreciate it. Uh, I want to acknowledge and thank uh, the folks who are going to be going to be uh, receiving uh, this nice recognition. Uh, our Director of Public Health, Lauren Buck. Who has done a tremendous job uh, guiding our city through uh, a very challenging time, and Viviana Catano from a uh, a partner uh, that we have here in the community, uh, Mass General. That uh, if we did not have partnerships like the one that we have with Mass General, uh, we would be uh, in a in a much tougher and more difficult position. So uh, we certainly appreciate that. And then I'll close by saying that. I want to recognize uh, Revere on the Move, and in particular, our uh, tremendous ambassadors who are here today. Uh, and you know, the, the work that we've done to connect with the community, uh, to meet the needs of the residents, uh, whether it be food, housing, uh, something as simple as getting a mask, uh, the ambassadors were on the front lines and have been on the front lines uh, over the last year and a half. And now it's our job to make sure that uh, we continue that work and that effort and that it doesn't go away uh, as we move into a world past, uh, past COVID. But uh, from the bottom of my heart, we sincerely appreciate the tremendous work that you've done to, to meet the needs of our residents in a way that, uh, that we wouldn't be able to do without, without your, your help and without your time and energy and effort. Uh, so with that, I'll recognize the folks who uh, from the Postal Service who, uh, who helped make this happen. And we're going to hear from a couple of them. Uh, but I do want to thank Anna Robinson for her tremendous work in putting everything together today. Thank you, Anna. Uh, and then I'll, I'll be turning it over to uh, Rob Carrillo and Charlotte Venditti Ritson. So, uh, Rob, why don't you come on up? Thank you. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Don't I'm sorry. Don't I'm sorry. Don't Good afternoon. I am Charlotte Vendetti Ritson, manager of the Revere Post Office, and along with me is Rob Carrillo, the area manager, my two letter carriers, Mike Paulsonetti and Mike Callahan. We would like to thank you for joining the United States Postal Service today as we dedicate and honor the unsung hero for our city. 2020 was a year like no other. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, our lives changed. Schools, restaurants, stores, businesses closed. Some people work from home, many could not work at all. And through it all, one thing was ever evident. Concern for one another was at an all-time high, and essential workers became heroes. The amazing people that are contrib contributing to getting our lives back to normal. The United States Postal Service understands what it means to be essential, to show up when no one else does, to put forth an extra effort to ensure that a need is met. And we would like to take this time to acknowledge the extra effort that the City of Revere Board of Health and the Revere On The Move gave when it was needed. The City of Revere stepped up when it was needed most. During the COVID outbreak, Revere was deemed a hotspot and the city basically was shut down. The Board of Health sprung into action and the Revere High School testing site was opened. It was well managed, safe, efficient, and one of the busiest places in the city for quite some time. Once the vaccine was available, the Board of Health again stepped up 
open safe and well managed testing sites. Access to the testing and vaccinations for the City of Rivia was outstanding and the Board of Health is the reason why. In addition to the testing and vaccinations, the need for food security was at an all-time high. With schools and restaurants closed, many residents found themselves without the benefit of school lunches for their children and unemployment for themselves. Revere on the Move was instrumental in getting the word out to all residents and food was available. Also, Revere on the Move assisted with unemployment and SNAP benefits. On August 21, 2020, the United States Postal Service issued a forever stamped design by Dana Tanamachi that perfectly states what everybody should think of when Revere on the Move and the Board of Health is mentioned. Thank you. The two simple words are highlighted in gold foil in cursive script and an elegant floral design that swirls through and around the words. You were there for the residents of Revere when you were needed most. At this time, I would like to welcome the Board of Health and Revere on the Move to join us to dedicate the 2020 Thank You Stamp. for all you did, we appreciate it. Thank you, and we're giving you this frame piece.